Hi guys, it's again me Arpine from Armenia and today I'm going to talk about, I'm going to tell you about a very interesting holiday that this year we Armenians are going to celebrate on July 8th. So, uh, it's Vartavar. Imagine yourself, you are walking in one of the streets of a modern city and a group of children, teenagers uh, come up to you running and uh, do you with a bucket of water. So you are astonished, you are confused, you do not know what to do. Of course, this is a complicated situation in Germany, in Russia, in France, if you are in Germany, Russia, or uh, France, or in any other country of the world. But if you are in Armenia, the situation uh, turns out to be fun. You actually should smile, should laugh from the heart, from the bottom of your heart. Because um, in Armenia, on the successive 14th, uh, day of St. Easter, people celebrate the very fun holiday which we call Vartavar. So, the origin of that holiday comes actually uh, from the ancient times when Armenia was still a pagan country. Uh, that is to say, people believed in different gods and goddesses. According to the legend, uh, the goddess Astrik Mm, spread love, dosing people with water, uh, and mm, in association with the observance of the goddess Astrik, the festivities uh, were called Vartavar. Uh, 
the word Vartavar, um, the roots which are in the word Vartavar are Vart, it means rose, and Var uh, means rise. So literally, the word Vartavar means uh, to rise roses as a sign of love. Uh, so if you pour someone with water on the day of Vartavar, that means that you make up friends. If you have been fought for a long time on the day of Vartavar, you'll make up friends again. You'll make peace again. Uh, as um, uh, Vartavar was a um, pagan holiday. It was uh, mainly celebrated by pagan Armenians. So many pagan uh, customs uh, are still preserved uh, around around the na nation. And one of those customs are spilling water over each other, uh, making the pigeons fly. Uh, but uh, after adopting Christianity, uh, Armenians loved uh, the holiday so much that they kept celebrating it even after the adopting of Christianity. And they uh, began to associate the holiday with the transfiguration of the Jesus Christ when Jesus Christ uh, appeared uh, on Mount Tabor in his brightened appearance uh, to his disciples. Um, uh, to his disciples. And also, uh, people uh, associate um, the holiday of Vartavar with uh, the landing of Noy's Ark, uh, the day when Noy uh, landed on Mount Ararat um, after coming down from the top, from the peak of Ararat, uh, he ordered his sons uh, to pour each other, uh, to drench each other with uh, water uh, as a um, reminder of the flood that all of them had gone through. So during this holiday, uh, Armenians were collecting their uh, wet from the fields and uh, took it to the church uh, for the blessing as to keep it away from the hail and uh, damages. Uh, girls were collecting flowers, mainly the flower, the yellow flower, which was called Vartiter, and were spreading uh, that flower to the yards uh, of their uh, relatives and neighbors as a sign of fertility. Uh, today, mainly people enjoy uh, drenching each other with water in the neighborhood. Uh, youngsters today gather together on the grounds of Swan Lake and pour each other with water. And this is especially a fun day for the children as they are allowed on this day to play pranks with the elderly. Uh, after getting enough wet, uh, after getting wet enough uh, to the bones, uh, people uh, enjoy um, gathering at someone's place uh, and having the delicious uh, Armenian barbecue or horovat as we are used to call it. So this much about Vartavar. I hope you like um, the video. If you like it, please share it. Please comment below. Ask me any questions you have about the holiday. So this much about today. Bye bye.